It's Derek here, and today I'm talking about a lens that I got at a pawn shop a while back. It is a Poland AMAR um, PZO lens. So it was made originally for a developer, um, but like all lenses, it's just use it one way, use it the other way, and you can just, with the right extension tubes that you can put on this thing, you can get it to fit on it. I happen to run through a couple of different macro extension tubes and then to a um, Photodiox M42 to EOS adapter into my Metabone Speed Booster adapter onto my NEX7 camera. So that is how it is. I'm about to show you some sample video work of it. Um, you pretty much get one plane of focus and if you want to focus to something else you have to actually move. So um, just like all fixed lenses. You have to move for your subject. Well, this one you have the added complication of you have to move for your focus as well. So quite a challenge. You can get some nice uh, bouquet um, in the background. It looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to try this lens out with a little bit more. Uh, I bought it at a pawn shop a while back as a throw-in freebie with some other lenses that I bought. And um, I'm going to see what I can do with this thing. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot some video with it and go from there. So. Um, take a look. You can find these for cheap on eBay. I'm talking like 8 to 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, you just have to buy the extension tubes and find out the right adapter to get it to hook up to your lens camera system. Um, so micro four thirds, NEX system, uh, all that good stuff. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. This is the AMARPZO attached to my NEX7. This is stopped down all the way. And the way I have the macro tube set up, we are running through that to then into a Metabones um, adapter into the NEX7. And we are shooting at 60p. So this is shooting kind of towards sunset and f-stop uh, opened up all the way. I'm going to go ahead and close it down to 4.5. See that we get shallower depth of focus, and you pretty much have to move in or move out to get whatever subject you want to focus. Being that this is a developer lens uh, for like a 6x6 six six or so developer for developing photos, it, uh, it's like full manual. But uh, everything else just kind of blurs out in the background. Sunset stop down so you can see how the bokeh looks. All the way open. Um, so there you go. Oh. Once again, that is wide open and that it's stopped down. You can see how the car comes into a little bit more focus there in the background and going up to open, let's see, that's about halfway. So, difficult lens to shoot with, but if you like the uh, the look of the out of focus in the background, and you can get a very shallow depth of field. Okay, I got the right macro extension tubes on, so that way I have it focused at about 15 feet. Um, so, you can kind of see the same flowers I shot in the previous video. Um, just kind of screw it on a little bit more, and it makes, makes it focus for different areas. So, unscrew the tube. So that way you're having a little bit more draw on the extension there. Um, you can see stuff getting the focus there with that plant. Um, go to the one in the back. I actually have to screw the tube even more so that way um, I can get more of an infinity focus. Um, so with the right macro extension tube you can make this work. Um, so that, uh, that's pretty much it. Interesting lens. Let me uh, stop it down for you. Okay, that's stopped down, and we're still kind of focusing out at the same point. And there you have it. A very cheap lens, but you have to have a lot of extension tubes and the right setup to get this dude to work right. Enjoy.